Hey, you doing YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. A little bit of hop butcher jams. This time a little hefe time in the form of their Wolitzer. Uh, it's a Liberty and Sabro hopped Hefeweizen. Yeah, 5% alcohol by volume. Dig on the yard, you know me. Dan Jets the level stuff. Always good, but, um, you know, first hefe I'm having from uh, Hump Butcher here. I'm kind of curious about it, especially because they're using their kooky hops, you know. Um, you're talking about uh, Liberty which I don't remember ever having the beer before, and Sabro, which is kind of, I wouldn't say they're M.O., but, um, yeah, they do a lot of Sabro-based stuff as of late. So, and art-wise, like I said, uh, it's got a nice Wolitzer um, uh, keyboard on there, and it's just done in that classic Dan Jessa style that I dig so much. There you go. Uh, what does that look like? It looks like a New School Hazy, but New School Hazies kind of look like Old School Hefes, so you tell me what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, Rich Pinky Finger, just barely off white head, pretty tight, compact bubbles. She's got a soft, rich haze to her. It's not turkey gravy haze. At the same time, she's got some heft to her. Let's get a nose. Um, yeah, this is really cool because you're getting that bubblegum, slightly bubblegum, slight banana kind of estery thing. Um, you get from like a lot of hefas and stuff like that, but you're getting that soft touch of that Sabro coconut in there. So it's it's almost coming off like a custardy pie kind of thing for me. And then it's like, okay, you're getting banana. Okay, you're getting bubblegum. So you're getting those kind of um, desserty fruity flavors, but then you add that level of coconut, it comes off a little bit more custardy to me than just straight up banana kind of bubblegum. There's a soft, soft, tight greenness in there. I believe you're getting that, again, from the hops and a nice soft sweetness to it too. This smells really fun. It smells like a half, but at the same time, a little bit more going on. Hot Pudger's M.O. Cheers. I mean, it literally follows exactly the same path in the taste. You're getting like a slightly lemon-limey vibe with a little bit of banana, a little bit of of that um, bubblegum. Decent amount of bubblegum, actually, and then a little bit of soft kind of coconut on the other end of things. What's their tasting notes on here? You got, uh, let's see, a creamy banana, uh, snappy wheat. It's snappy. And pleasant clove. Okay, I can see the clove too. Um, a little bit of spicy, maybe cardamomy, kind of that level kind of stuff. But it's nice. I dig it. Um, it's weird because it, it, of all those things, it has a softness, a creaminess. All these flavors kind of make me think of a fluffy creaminess. But this is a little bit thin. More than you'd expect for kind of a half. It's not thin, but thinner than you'd expect. Especially for like a hazy and half to bet together. You think of the best of both worlds. You get a little bit more of a big push of a richness there. But yeah, I like it. I think it's tasty. I think she's fun. Um, I think she's super chuggable. 5%. So you're not talking about a huge, gigantic beer here. It's fun. I dig it. What more is there to say? The hops play a little bit smaller part. I believe this is more like... Except for the Sabro, um, you're not getting a big cream component. You're not getting a big bittering component. You're not getting a big juicy component. You get that little bit of soft citrus, but it's a lot of yeast drivenness combined with that Sabro. So you're getting that bubblegum yeasty banana ester on top of that kind of coconut, which works really well. Basically, takes like a, um, a classic German slash Belgian half mashed them together and just gives you that little knock that you typically get from a United States beer. Done and done. Drink them all day. I drink 70,000 of these things. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better wheat beers that I've had as of late? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is it towards the top? I might skew a little traditional on this one, but it's eking towards the top. It might be up there. I'd have to really kind of think back to the ones I've had because I haven't had that many, so it might default there. Value and availability, uh, it's Hot Butcher. So we don't get them out here, um, but they um, they do hit shelves out in the kind of Illinois area. Um, you know, they go fast, but they can be found and leave you with, if you like what will you like this beer, if you like old school hefts, but you want a little bit of new school in there because that's exactly what you're getting. I'd say two-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds of old school and one-third of new school with that little Sabro and extra hopped kick. And a pretty nice chuggable package. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little half right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.